Hi everyone, Paul at ISM. Welcome to Sunday the 9th of October's At The Bench Update. So, last night we had our live show. Um, second one we're doing on a Saturday. Um, we're going to do the first weekend of every month will be our Saturday show. Like I said the other day, it's going to give people who normally work on a Friday on different time zones a chance to watch the show. Uh, last night was mega busy. We had 158 viewers. Uh, that was the highest amount at one time, about 550 overall through the night. So very busy night. So most of the viewers we've ever had. So absolutely fantastic. Thank you to everybody that watched, everybody that joined in, everyone that commented, even to the trolls we had. Uh, thank you to everybody that joined in. Thank you to Jan for uh, joining us. Uh, excellent Q&A uh, guest. He was absolutely brilliant. Everyone found him very interesting, very engaging to talk to and listen to. So thank you very much, Jan. It was much appreciated being on the show. You're welcome back anytime you want, but including the off air ones, just join us whenever you see the link pop in as well. And that goes to everybody. If you see the link to join the off air ones, pop in and say, as we had Norman join us today for the first time, he spent the afternoon with us. Um, nice guy. So that's it. Come join us. Uh, off air is a bit different, but everybody's welcome. It's not a problem at all. Just need a Google Plus account, a webcam, and a working mic. It's participation. It's not there to watch. If you're not going to join in, don't join. But everybody's welcome. So yeah, great show, absolutely brilliant. Um, three prize draws last night. Uh, one from Stuart, very kindly donated four figure sets, very kind of him. We had the Rad Arrows from ourselves, the 30 second scale, and the Ableton Neo from on air-craft.net. Uh, Lorraine won the airbrush and the, uh, the Red Arrows kit. I don't know sure what the odds are in winning both, um, but they've got to be quite high. So well done Lorraine, they'll be posted at you tomorrow. Uh, all the way to New Zealand, so they're going quite a way. But um, you should enjoy them. Nice airbrush, nice kit as well. And um, Philip won the figures. So well done to everybody. The prize will be with you as soon as they get there, basically. Um, so make sure you tune in on Tuesday as well for our build night. And Friday we'll be back as well. So that's that. So excellent. Very happy with those viewing numbers. Once we reach 200, I'll give away a special prize. We'll figure something out. When we get over 200 total viewers and we see the highest viewers go to that, I'll do a giveaway. Of that so there you go so uh as you can see i'm covered in sand and dust i spent the afternoon um <laughs> i'm covered in literally everything i'll explain why in a minute um but yeah i've been working on the tempest i've been making my own um washes as you saw last night um i bought some empty nail varnish bottles the peat system i call it p-e-a-t paul's easy accentuation technique um so yeah i'll show those in a minute uh, a little bit of an update because everybody was asking me last night. The Riveters, it's like Rivet Gate, um, PayPal uh, sided with me and refunded me. Um, so I got a full refund the other day. Um, so yeah, I know that Brett and Simon are putting in purple distributors as well. So avoid that company like the plague. Uh, I think I can get away with using the one I've already got or my other one to Rivet the Tempest. I'm going to crack on, I'm going to wait, as you'll see in a minute. And uh, I'm going to find a more reliable source for them. I think I've got one. I'll be UMM or uh, Norman put me onto a site in Spain. I'm going to have a look at So we should get them eventually anyway. So there we go. So yeah, PayPal wins through again as always. And I had another good result on PayPal as well. So I'll explain in a second. Um, so yeah, uh, a couple of things in the post. Well, one was hand delivered by my buddy Pete, Pete Howard. Uh, we did a good, um, we did a good deal on this. So... This is probably the biggest kit I will build. Um, I got Trumpy's 30 second scale AH, sorry, A1H uh, AD6 Sky Raider. Absolutely lovely kit. And Pete did me a cracking price on it. It's a lovely kit. It's huge. It's got an 18 inch wingspan. Um, probably around about the same length fuselage. It's a little bit shorter. That's the biggest plane I'll probably build. And probably the biggest plane I'll buy as well. Apart from that 219. Uh, the other thing I bought as well. Now I bought this, um, I paid 37 quid, it's Hasegawa's 30 second scale Hellcat, um, 37 pounds, it came wrapped in a single wrapper bubble wrap and brown paper, don't post kits like that, it's a ridiculous way of posting them, they're just going to get damaged in the post, this took a big ding on the front, on the side, just there, and when I opened it up, um, number one, there should have been a book with it, and there wasn't, uh, <laughs> uh, when I opened it up, um, there was a lot of marking to the plastic. You can see where the actual plastic bag had got stressed and there were scratches all over the fuselage. And I was thinking, where the hell has it come from? It was only when I opened it up, I saw a massive tear 
inside the box and when you look on the actual box where it had been you can see the ding that it had taken so taking a big hit or something so not very happy with the packaging as I should be because it's eBay things should be packaged properly and sent out you buy them uh, I contacted the buyer and after a bit of discussion they refunded me £15 so I can't fault that um, so I've got a 30 second scale uh, Hellcat uh, we come under that but the camera I'll show you where it got so it's an older kit, it's got some raised lines on, uh, panel lines on the back but I've got a full Verlinden uh, copper set and gun bay we've got the uh, squadron back form canopy uh, master barrels and the Montes masks and the kit, although it's got a little bit of scratches here and there that I can deal with um, for the most part of it I paid 22 quid so I'm very happy with that, nice little bargain um, so the, that came the other day, I was going to return it and after a bit of discussion I thought, you know what, for 22 quid, I'll keep it, the aftermarket's worth more than that. The Sky Raider, I got an excellent price and I'm not sure if I showed it but the Hurricane, I think I did, the Lamborghini Hurricane um, from Aoshima, I'll grab it anyway and show it you just in case I didn't, but I'm pretty sure I did. I got that the other day as well from Hero Boy. I can't remember if I showed it, but there you go. There it is. Looks a stunning kit. Bit disappointed the doors don't open, but the uh, engine bay does. So, all's good in the hood there. Right, so what have I been doing today? Well, if you watched the live show last night, I bought these. There's two packs of these. And what are they, you saying? Well, they are empty nail varnish uh, bottles. So, I bought these after seeing um, a company's attempt at marketing. Uh, pretty thin oils in thin little bottles. I had an idea. I've got all, oh, if I can pick it up, all these oil paints from MIG. Um, a lot of money's worth, and I thought I'm not buying another load of oils because I've already got them. All they need is thinning down with some mineral spirits, a um, little bit of liquid in, which is this stuff. It's in a UMP bottle though. Uh, this makes oil paints dry quicker. Mixed it up, and I've made all my own oil washers. As you can see there, all different colours. All different, we've got blacks, greys, browns, beige, red. I did a blue just so I could show you the contrast. And that's it, once they're thinned, you've got a nice thin um, oil paint, so you use them for panel lines, etc. And that's what I'll use these for, they're all different colours. Um, and 20 of these bottles cost me nine quid delivered. So an absolute bargain. I'm gonna order some more. And you can also put your UMP washes in them too, and use them as pin washes then, which I do from time to time. Concrete dark dirt, light dirt in there. The only thing that is, the bottles actually, the oh, let me see, the actual brushes are a little bit too thick, as you can see. But literally, you can pull it out, it's on a little angled hook. Pull off as many hairs as you want, push back over your tweezers, and I trim them a little bit shorter from sharp scissors, and you end up with a nice pointy brush. I've even put some Mr. Hobby Dissolve Putty in one, and it works fine. Ah, it's a micro scale crystal clear because I'm fed, fed up and mucking around with brushes. So these have already got the brush in. Let's really undo it. Your brush is attached inside and there's your canopy glue ready to go. Pop back in, no mess, job done. So I'm probably going to have 400 of these things full of everything I can get my hands on. I'm going to do every colour wash I can. I've got over 30 oils there and I can mix and max them. So we get all different colours. So yeah, very happy with that. It's a cheaper way of doing it. And like I said on the live show, although I do co-own UMP, and of course I'm always going to push my product because our products are awesome and they work very well. Of course, <laughs> I don't just use one weathering technique. That would be absolutely ridiculous. I love oils. Oils are very, very versatile. But there's some things they can't do that other washes can. So it's having as many different tools in your armory as possible which makes it easier to do these things. So I use oils, I use enamels, I use UMP washes. Uh, I've got homemade ones I've been using for a while there. That's the same thing as in there, but in a tub. Uh, different thinness, different thicknesses, all got their uses. I even use the Tamiya panel line markers, which I absolutely love for the bikes. They're absolutely brilliant. Um, and again, so yeah, different things. It's daft, don't stick to one thing. Branch out and use a lot of different things and make a world of difference. Right, uh, work, what have I done today? Uh, well, I've been mucking around with them, hence why I'm absolutely covered in crap. <laughs> but what I've been doing is uh, dealing with the seams on the Tempest. So as you can see, I've been spraying it with some UMP Black Primer to check for seams. Uh, done a very, very good job here. I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you can see. 
that was a massive gap there. That's been dealt with beautifully. I've got a few little spots that the prime has shown, because that's what the prime is for. Excuse the state of my hands and nails. Um, that will show the floor, so a little bit of more CA glue in there. That job done. I think there's a little spot under there somewhere. I know that whole spine's perfect along there. Got a little bit in the bay at the back. Just there, you can see on top, we've got one spot just there. Along the front, we've got this cowling to deal with because it's not bad there. The panel line is acceptable there. So I need to fill that and then we'll rescribe to there. Right across, we've got a little bit to do on the front there as well. As you can see, the primer shows up where you need to fill. Uh, around these panels here, needs a little bit of, probably just a bit of a layer putty in, wiped off, job done. Uh, same over there, there's a bit of a bigger gap just at the front there, and then all the leading edges, if I can get it to focus, which I can't, I'll have to zoom out a little bit. Leading edges aren't too bad at all, can't complain. Got the nav lights in as well now, so they've been glued in place, um, sanded to fit, that's the best way I find of getting them in. Got the rear ones to put in, which sit just in there. Uh, so yeah, just a little bit of filling, and then I can rescribe, re it, get the canopy on, get the uh, all the elevators have all been done as well, as well as the rudder, they're all filled, they've been test painted as well, all been done, literally you can see the state of them, they're covered in primer, so hopefully we can get this thing to the primer stage in a few days, I'm juggling a few builds at the minute, Got the SU on the go, uh, which I can show you actually, because I showed it last night. Uh, the SU24 from Trumpy's on the go for the bomber build. Uh, Brett's involved with on the forum. So this is my SU24. We've got all the side walls painted up. I'm becoming a bit of only one camera today, so a bit short, man. You see, there's a bit of colour difference in the PA, which is a nightmare. I match the colour it should be. I try to lighten it a bit. It's not the greatest match. It'll do. It, Edward's PA, you ever just the colour it needs shooting in the nicest possible way. Uh, it's a bit harsher actually, isn't it? It doesn't need shooting. <laughs> I just need telling. Stop doing it. It's the wrong colour. Uh, cockpit itself is looking rather well. Quite happy with that. So, a little bit of detail painting still to do. But yeah, it's looking quite well. The colour difference isn't as noticeable in there. It does actually show quite bad on camera. Instrument panel is very nice. We've got the head up display. Needs a bit of um, acetate on the front, so that's coming along well. The seats are all primed, they're ready for detail painting and their PE. And the resin wheel bay uh, will be left for now. I'll paint that uh, just before it goes in, most probably. So that's it. The SU's coming along really well. I've got the bike I'm working on for the magazine, which I can't show. That's behind me, that's trundling along. Uh, I need to get a bit of momentum on that. Uh, the escort, the body shell is ready for taking back. Um, I've got the interior to do on that as well. So, plenty on the go, it's keeping me busy and I'm enjoying it. We've also got the uh, Spitfire to build on Tuesdays, which is great. Um, that's a great little build to follow along. And the 109, I've got the new show to film. Um, probably going to start maybe tomorrow and Tuesday. Uh, I've got a couple of reviews I want to do as well. So yeah, there we go. That's everything I've been working on. Everything updated, nothing else is coming in the post, I don't think. Just looking around cursory before we go. No, nope. so hopefully we're back tomorrow. Um, so I've got something to show, I'll be back. So like I say, if you don't see an update, don't get um, angry with me. <laughs> I'm just not going to bore you with, oh, there's nothing to show, I'll see you tomorrow. If I've got something to show, we'll do an update. If not, we will uh, do one the day after, and so on and so forth. So there we go. That's my update today. Uh, so check out my new peat system for the oils. It's Paul's... Uh, easy accentuation technique and uh, yeah ebay you can get them those bottles and they look absolutely great and i can see everything being in those bottles eventually uh <laughs> in here it'll certainly be uh full of all sorts of nail bondage bottles full of all sorts of concoctions so there you go so there we are so i will hopefully see you tomorrow if not i'll see you tuesday night uh have fun uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend and i will see you later so take care bye bye